Hello and welcome. My name is Paul from Danfoss Climate Solutions and I would like to introduce the AKCC55 Connect app for our AKCC55 K controllers. The app is available for both iOS and Android and can be installed on a smartphone or tablet. First, we start our app on the smartphone. The first screen shows how to connect to the case controller. To do that, we need to press the Bluetooth button for approximately 2 to 3 seconds and the network address of the controller will now flash in the display. In this case, it's the 75. Now we can connect to the controller in the app below and on the next screen we will see all controllers whose Bluetooth function has been enabled. We can identify the right control based on the network address. To show the safety features of the controller, we have previously configured a pin to show that we can further restrict access to this controller. In a combination with a system manager of type AKSM800 or A100A, we have the option of enabling or disabling the general Bluetooth function in order to ensure a further protection of the system. Let's take a look into the app. The app is made of four large menus that including a dashboard, alarms, controls and I.O. We are currently now in the dashboard and here we will find all the important information such as the thermostat air temperature, cut in cut out values, a status of the controller, a scheme of the evaporator including sensor designation and positioning with the actual temperatures. Below we can find a graph which we will come back to in a moment. The second menu is alarms. Here we can find active and already cleared alarms and if we click one of them we will see when the alarm occur, the status of the controller, a brief information what the alarm mean and useful tips and tricks helping with the error analysis. The third menu is controls. Here we have the possibility to stop the controller or to set into a manual mode, carry out a clay scanning, change the cutoff value of the thermostat, or start a defrost manually. In the I.O. menu, we will find information regarding the analog inputs, digital outputs, analog output and digital inputs. We have also the possibility to manually override the digital outputs. This is a useful function if we want to completely test the control during commissioning. By pressing on the symbol with the three dashes on the top right corner, we will open another menu where we will find the mentioned before graph. To better show the functionality of the graph, I will go into the filter settings and add S4 sensor and change the time interval to 24 hours. Now we can scroll back and forward in the timeline and by grabbing the bar below and sliding we will see the exact temperature regarding the chosen time. In settings files we can make a backup of the connected controller as well upload one. By pressing on the file we will see all the informations or all the parameters that was configured before. In control info we will get all information about the controller like the application mode or the network address.
in the quick setup menu we have put it together all parameters that are necessary for a quick startup. In the parameter menu we have all parameters that can be configured on these controllers categorized in groups. The event log show us all information what happened with the control. We have also a filter function to only show the relevant information what we are looking for. The last thing I will show you is the app's own menu. The app settings only refer to the app and no longer to the control. This menu is already available after downloading the app. We can here change the language as well the country specific units. We can also start a demo mode that will allow us to, to discover the app without being connected to a control. Toes was the basics function and the general overview of the app in connection with the case controls AKCC55. I hope the information was helpful and thank you for watching. Bye bye.